Today we are going to make a buccal reduction on these crowns. This is a case that we designed last episode. And for that we go... We were in the free-forming stage. We go next. And now we choose... We go uh, exclude selected parts. And now they look... As you can see they look yellow. You go either mark all. So whatever is blue, it's gonna be full contour. Whatever is, whatever is yellow, it's going to be reduced. So, usually I like to mark them all blue. So you go mark all, they're going to become all blue. And now I just paint the part that I want to be reduced. So usually whenever I'm reducing just the Google side, I keep the all the contacts in Zirconi. So imagine, usually it's a Zirconi crown. So I like to keep the, the contacts in Zirconi. Proximal contacts, occlusion contacts. And I like to leave the incisal edge in Zirconi as well. So paint them all. So I like to make the crowns transparent so I can see. I can see like this line here. I know that I can go back here as well and I'll have the crowns at the same level, keeping the contact in zircon. So once you paint everything, you can just go ahead and select the depth of the reduction. So with them, and you you click apply. You can just do a minimal reduction 0 0.5. So you see here it's going too much in. I think we need to make them. You can always adjust. So I like. I like to have them look symmetrical, even when they are reduced. Like this, apply. And now the centrals are looking much better. And this is pre pretty much it. You can go next and you can adjust a bit the shapes if you want. You can smooth these parts. Because these these uh, crowns are a bit thin. Just smooth whatever you want to smooth. You can do some texture here if you want. And yeah. Here you have a buccal reduction on these anterior crowns.